find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 plus 3x over 4 to the power of 6. So, okay, 2 plus 3x over 4 to the power of 6 is equal to 6 choose 0 times 2 to the power of 6 times 3x over 4 to the power of 0. So we're after increasing ascending powers of x. So I've started with x being to the power of 0, the 2 being to the power of 6. And with our next term, we increase our 0. So that increases to 1. So 6 choose 0 becomes 6 choose 1. We decrease this power and we increase the power for the 3x over 4. So it's multiplied by 2 to the power of 5 times 3x over 4 to the power of 1. Do the same thing again. 6 choose 2 now, so 1 has increased to 2. 2 to the power of 4, and then finally 3x over 4 to the power of 2. So yeah, we're decreasing this power, 6, 5, 4. We're increasing this power, 0, 1, 2. And we're increasing this number, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so let's work out what each of these individual things are. So anything choose 0 is 1, so 6 choose 0 is 1. Anything choose 1 is whatever that initial number was. So if it's 6 choose 1, it's 6. If it's 10 choose 1, it's 10. So this is 6. And 6 choose 2, you can type that in the calculator, that would be 15. It's useful to memorize the first few rows of Pascal's triangle. So with question practice, you'll probably end up doing this anyway but it might be worth having a look and trying to memorize the rows up until about 6. And then we have 2 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 64. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. And this anything to the power of 0 is just 1. This remains as 3x over 4. And the final one would be, so 3x over 4 squared would be 9x squared over 16. Okay, so then let's multiply this all out. So 2 plus 3x over 4 to the power of 6 is equal to 64 plus 144x. So that's these three terms here multiplied together. And then the final term would be 135x squared, which is these three terms multiplied by one another. So that's part A done. And now for part B. Explain how you could use your expansion to estimate the value for 1.925 to the power of 6. You do not need to perform the calculation. Okay, so for this one, I actually will do the calculation. Usually for these kinds of questions, you're expected to do the full calculation anyway. And if you see the calculation, it'll be much easier for you to understand what exactly you'd have to say to get the mark. So I'll do the full calculation. At the end of it, I'll just write a brief statement, which would be what you need to write to get the mark. Okay, so we start with 1.925 to the power of 6. We set this equal to 2 plus 3x over 4 to the power of 6. So we can cancel out the powers, and we end up with 1.925 is equal to 2 plus 3x over 4. We can rearrange this. 3x over 4 is equal to, so that will be 1.925 minus 2, which is the same thing as minus 3 over 40. And then rearrange, so multiply the right-hand side by 4 over 3, so times by 4, divide by this 3, and we end up with x is equal to minus 0 0.1. So what this has basically shown us is that 1.925 to the power of 6 can be rewritten as this, so the 2 plus 3x over 4, with the x being minus 0 0.1. All of this to the power of 6. Why is that useful? That's useful because we know the expansion for the first few terms of 2 plus 3x over 4 to the power of 6. We know it's, we know it's these three terms here. So then this will be approximately equal to those first three terms. So 64 plus 144 times x plus 135 times x. And actually, if we were to work this out, so 1.925 to the power of 6 is approximately equal to 50.95. And actually, if you were to 
work this out, like type in this into your calculator, 1.925 to the power of 6, you end up with 50 point, I'll write out the first few decimal places, 88437, and this, this carries on. Notice how these two things are fairly similar. So our approximation, using this binomial expansion, for 1.925 to the power of 6, is pretty close to the actual answer. We can make it more accurate by considering more terms. With each successive term, they get smaller and smaller. And the reason for that is because we have, if we just forget about this minus sign, 0 0.1 to the power of 1, 0 0.1 to the power of 2, then to the power of 3, to the power of 4, and so on. That makes, well, those numbers get smaller and smaller. This is a tenth, this is a hundredth, the next one will be a thousandth, and one ten thousandth, and so on. The terms get smaller and smaller, so with the more terms that you consider, you're considering the later decimal places in your approximation. So to get a rough estimate as to what 1.925 to the power of 6 is, we only need to consider the first few terms. Okay, so what would we actually write for our final answer? So although it says in the question, you do not need to perform the calculation, we actually did want to work out what x was. So our first part of our working would be this bit here, working out what x is. We probably don't need to do it in as many lines, maybe we can do it in like two lines or something. And then once you've worked out your value of x, you then say substitute minus 0 0.1 into our expansion that we worked out in part a, which is what we have here. And that should be enough for that one mark.